everyone and welcome back to Eco Socialist. So in my last video I promised to share with you the only self-care that I managed to do during my time working at the factory. So this is Garrett, large bowl of water on the ground me in the kitchen because um, my husband's a light sleeper so it's the only light we keep on in the evening. And he's only just gone to bed, so I'm saving him from me turning on the bathroom light because we've got internal windows, so he likes to sleep in darkness. But anyway, my bath is over with, and I'm going to get into the skincare routine. So I have sensitive combination skin, so I tend to lean away from any product that has too much perfume or alcohol in because it just hasn't served my skin that well. <laughs> so, um, what I do is a piece of self-care before I start. Because I don't get to enjoy all these lovely smelling things, I have started buying nice big candles to my bathroom. Now I only usually light them in the bathroom because we've got less of less sort of soft furnishings in there so it's less likely to be a fire hazard. <laughs> Obviously, I live in a top four flat, <laughs> if nobody realised. So I'm going to light this. And uh, this is just sort of a reasonably cheap one that I got from Aldi. And it's called Twilight. And it's a cruelty free one. It kind of smells like men's aftershave, which I kind of love the smell of. Not floral or pretty or sweet smelling. I've never really been keen on that particular sweet smell of ladies' perfume, so there we go. So with that going and smelling rather nice, um, always before I start sort of anything to do with touching my face, I wash my hands. Definitely something that I learned while sort of training as a therapist because you don't want to transfer bacteria onto the place where you're supposed to be cleaning and treating. So my hands are washed already, so you didn't have to take the extra time. And the first thing I do is I oil cleanse. And I do two cleansers. So I start with an oil. This one's a really basic one. But I was going to literally, after I finished this, um, switch to using hemp oil. Like you said, like I said in the past, hemp oil um, is really, really great for the skin, especially when you have like a combination of skin. I think it's the sort of middle egg acid that your combo or oily skin really likes, and it kind of lacks. And sort of when you get more of it, you're less likely to get the really hard clogged pores that are a pain in your ass <laughs> so I'm starting off with the simple one this one actually has an emulsifier in it so it makes it easier to wash off your base so going in with that one on dry skin <laughs> because water and oil don't mix and I do like to take my time with this And I always remember not to forget my neck, even the back of my neck, because I kept spots, a lot of spots at the back of my neck, shamefully, and massage the skin very gently. Upward motions of the neck. Lymphatic drainage going. This is gently enough to go over your eyes. This gets clogged for the breath either side. Thank you. 
I was actually trained how to do hood facials. What do you find me? I can't do four hours of hands. Feel free to criticize, well, not criticize, some constructive feedback. Mainly because I use a sunscreen every day because top tip sunscreen is the cheapest anti aging tool. This is nice for simple skin aging. It's sun damage. <laughs> so I use the Superdrug Home Brand Facial and um, one right here. That one during the day. And yeah, people will say, well, we're in quarantine, why are you wearing something? Windows don't block the rays of the sun. I'm not in all the time. Obviously, I work in team, and that involves a lot of dry dust still, sort of just not off of the floor when I'm sleeping. So, all of that lovely grime sticks to the nice, greasy parts of my joyful. So even though I actually have a combination of skin, I actually use a cream cleanser during the winter. I find that my dry parts get a little bit too irritated otherwise, so my sort of cheeks get a little bit sensitive. Yeah. So even though I will wake up, guarantee every morning, 
with a grease factory forehead and a nose that's, well, shinier than a sequin dress. Um, because I don't want to irritate this part, I use a cream cleanser in the evening. So this one again, promise I'm not sponsored because I'm too much of a noob on sort of YouTube yet to get sponsored. These are just my products of choice at the minute and I had them, I switched to them when I had very little money, so it was like before I started the factory job, so it was the unharmful skincare that I could afford to buy without damaging my skin too much. Now I don't use cotton ball because I think that's wasteful and you're wasting half the product when your hands do a pretty good job anyway. So this product, that's another thing that I don't like about this product is that it contains palm oil. If anyone has any suggestions on a cleanser that does not have palm oil in and that is vegan, I am all ears, but I have scoured high street shops for one and not found one. So if you know of a sort of eco-friendly cleanser that doesn't have all the essential oil things, I'm trying to avoid those at the minute as well. My last cleanser was really, really lovely. It was a gel cleanser by Beauty Kitchen. Remember me guys, me showing you guys. It was the sea plankton one in the returnable bottle. Now that smelled absolutely amazing. It smelled like a spa. Absolutely gorgeous. But I am trying to cut down on the amount of essential oil. generally think it will be better for my more sensitive skin. Now I've got nothing against essential oils obviously because you guys know that I have trained as a own therapist but I think there's a time and a place and when you've got sensitive skin you can overdo it sometimes. And with my skin being kind of slightly stressed, I decided that it wasn't a good idea to put on something else that sort of, in its essence, is a plant chemical. Because it's not just a fragrance, it's a concentrated plant chemical with an essential oil. So, the less irritation the better when your skin barrier is damaged. <laughs> I've learned this the hard way. Right. So next I follow up with their toner, which is an alcohol free one, again affordable, yet non-offensive, I think you can probably get more effective toners, but again with my skin being on the more sensitive side, again I don't use a cotton wool swab because I think they are wasteful, and I don't use a washable one because why would I create more washing for myself? So, I just kind of quite like this one because it has alatonin, the air, alatonin, I can't even pronounce that word, but it's got a small amount of niacinamide thing, which I also can't pronounce. <laughs> and my skin seems to like it diluted more than products. It really, when I tried in the past, the CeraVe sort of PM moisturiser. My skin was like, no, nope, don't like this. I'm singing, I'm screaming at you. <laughs> don't use me again. <laughs> Which is fine because all our skin is different. So, different products are going to work for different people, and some people might get them even with perfume products. But 
I don't. So, off this, I put on some aloe vera gel. Oh, no, hang on. I might always well switch it up and actually put on my serum because I did not. So I use this about once a week. I usually use it on a Wednesday night. Um, actually, Thursday today. Um, so I do three times of that. And it's a Bacuccio. Did I pronounce that right? Serum? But I put it everywhere, including the neck. And the neck. I only do this once a week because my skin is, like I said, quite sensitive. My skin has not gotten on the retinols. It doesn't like them. But this one seems to be okay as long as I don't overdo do it. So I've got that on and I'm going to go in with my aloe vera gel now. And this one is a vegan one. Right, and I just use a very small amount of aloe vera. I found that my skin really loves aloe vera, so but it's more of a humectant than a moisturizer. And from what I understand, it kind of helps other things absorb. that nobody wants to know about that my hair kindly covers up for me. Right. And that one I go in with hemp gel cream. Yeah, leave my skin combination but it still needs some hydration and my skin loves hemp. oil made of glass roller ball and salt kind of thing and it has no frankincense lavender and obviously rose in it. So this is what I call putting my natural preservatives on. Um, so I put it around the bony area of the eye. Not directly underneath 
Of course, it'll do a couple of things. It's like these little frozen oil has vitamin A in, or some sort of sort of retinol, but it's a lot more gentle retinol that my skin can actually handle. Um, this will act like an um, occlusive to stop water evaporating from my hair. You can learn probably a little bit too rough with the style, to be honest. Um, also one thing, I made the mistake of trying out uh, glycolic acid, but it's way too strong for my skin. And that again, aggravated the and the skin. So I say for my good bit of advice for anyone that's kind of trying to update their skin care routine is go gently, don't do what I did. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I'll go through um, what I do in my sort of um, morning routine, but I'm just going to show you obviously because I've just done my nighttime routine. So in the morning I will just go in with a micellar gel cleanser. Now, I'm going to do something a bit controversial, controversial here for us vegans. I've used both of these. If you have really sensitive skin, this one's gentler, but shamefully, it is not the vegan one. So, I'm not using this. I'm using this because obviously I'm vegan. But um, I have this one on recommendations from sort of like the YouTube video that I watched when I was looking into skincare for my daughter. So I used half of it and she's got half stored in a small bottle. And it works when she's over here for her um, preteen skin. So I use this. the aloe again in the morning and, and the sunscreen. Remember, cheapest anti-aging cream ever. And that's about it for my morning routine. Um, but to add on the end of what I do every night, skin-wise, is I use a hand cream before I go to bed because you get your money's worth um, when you put your hand cream on at night because you're not continuously washing it off, putting it back on again, washing it off, putting it back on again. You are actually sort of letting your skin have that sort of carrier and healing sort of time. Now, I got this one. I mentioned this in another video. It has um, a type of vegan wax in. I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's got roly and sort of some nice sort of plant butters, sort of avocado and things like that. But this didn't seem to moisturise my hand, it just seemed to stay on top of my hand and pretty much just mess up my bedding. So I ended up switching to shamefully a non-vegan product, but I have recently done a search online for vegan hand creams, so I have some other options to um, 
try out, not going to finish this one, but this one, not vegan, but it really, I really wish it was, I wish it was vegan, why do they have to sort of put in non-vegan glycerin into things? But this is amazing, it's one that my mum used to use when she was a care worker and had to wash her hands a lot. <laughs> and so this rescued her bum and it rescued my bum when my hands were going, ah, I'm not liking being washed and sanitised and then having to deal with actual chafing. I haven't been able to wear my wedding ring for a little while because I actually ended up with irritation. Uh, it's only just starting to heal, but I actually sort of had a layer of irritated, dry skin there. And I put on the white gloves, and then I gloved over the top, and then I was doing, trying to do things really quickly in the factory, and it chafed and irritated, and yeah, this kind of rescued my thumb, healed it a lot quicker than I thought it would. Wish there was a vegan version, if there is, and you know, you know about it. Message below. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna end this because it's going to be a long video. Because there are lots of different steps and practical stuff. <laughs> um so just remember to love each other and love the planet and like and subscribe and um over the next couple of weeks I am going to be doing some um, sort of DIY probably decorations because I have just ordered my twig tree to sort of hang on the wall, nice eco-friendly one from Etsy. So I encourage everyone to sort of shop locally or at least shop within the UK on sort of sites like Etsy. The, please try and avoid Amazon because Amazon is going to survive this lockdown in the UK. Your small businesses might not. <laughs> Alright. Love you all. Speak to you again soon.